Hey everyone, a few weeks ago, Rob over at Belts and Boxes broke the news about an Ego Riding Zero Turn lawnmower coming out next year. A few of y'all asked me if I knew any more details, so I did some digging. I found four patents on it with all of the details, plus I found a few other really exciting Ego patents that you're going to want to hear about. So let's get down to it. So the biggest question everyone had was, is this going to use a dedicated battery bank, or is it going to be compatible with Ego's 56 volt batteries that all of their other tools run off? The answer is it's going to use their 56 volt batteries. The patent language indicates anywhere between 4 and 10, but all of the specific designs they have, say 6 of these, are going to be used, including all of these drawings. Uh, it's going to be able to run off of less than 6 as well. So the patent specifically says 5 banks of parallel cells. So this 2.5 amp hour battery has 1 bank of cells, so you can run it off of 5 of these, or you can run it off of one 7.5 amp hour and one 5 amp hour. Any combination that adds up to five sets of cells in parallel. The minimum size battery Ego lists on this patent is 130 watt hours, which is a two and a half amp hour battery for them. Uh, now, they make a two amp hour, or they used to at one point, I don't know if they do anymore. It might be an oversight, it might not be compatible with the older cells, they might not be up to that current output capability. Uh, the biggest battery listed on this is 1,000 watt hours, which will be a 20 amp hour battery. I don't think they're going to come out with that right away. It, it adjusts it and to say, well, maybe the maximum is going to be 500 watt hours, which is a 10 amp hour battery. So I think with this new mower, we're also going to see the release of a 10 amp hour battery from Ego. So the second big question is, how much can this mow on one charge? So I did some comparison to other existing riding mowers. If you use six, seven and a half amp hour batteries, you're probably looking at one and three quarters acres. If you used six, 10 amp hour batteries, if they come out with those, you're probably looking at two and a quarter acre mowing capacity on a single charge. The really nice thing about this is the patent mentions it's going to have a charger built in. So when you're done mowing, you don't have to unload all these batteries and shuffle them through your chargers. You can just plug in the mower itself and it will charge all six batteries for you. One of the patents also mentions you're going to have the capability to plug in a backpack style battery. So their commercial series backpack battery, I think it's 28 amp hours, is also going to be compatible with this. I think you might have to wear it while you're driving the mower though, which might be a little bit uncomfortable. There's a detachable grass bagger assembly that's going to sit on top of the battery compartment, which is at the rear of the mower. So I don't think you're going to be able to access your batteries while you've got that grass bagger installed, though. And this may not just be a riding zero-turn lawnmower as well. They've got several other attachments listed, like a snowplow, a sweeper attachment, and maybe even other things. There's also going to be an electrical outlet on here. There's an inverter built into the mower. Uh, it says up to 220 volts, three-phase power. I think it will probably definitely include a 120 volt uh, AC outlet for it. Uh, there's also going to be a 12 volt output and a USB output. There's one brushless motor for each of the two mower blades, and I think these blades are going to be 21 inch blades. I if these drawings are to scale, I measured the width of a battery, then I measured the width of those blades. It looks like it's going to be a 36 inch cut capacity, so this is a smaller zero turn mower. It's still a zero turn mower with two, I think, 21 inch blades. So in addition to the other three patents, there is one entire patent covering just how their lap bar sensors work and how that whole system is going to play out with proportional control and everything like that, where you get your zero turn functionality from. And finally, I found a picture of their control panel concept that's going to be on the front of the mower. Uh, you've got an eco indicator and a boost mode, so it looks like you can either power through some tough grass or conserve energy and get longer cut capacity out of this. Uh, it's got battery fuel bar indicators for each individual battery, as well as a temperature indicator for the mower and each battery, so you can tell if your batteries are overheating or not. Uh, it's got Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, and USB connectivity. So that's all the information I found for Ego's Zero Turn Mower. But while I was researching that one, I found another patent which may be even bigger news. Ego is working on a robotic lawnmower. This is a really interesting patent. It has one key difference between Ego's design and everyone else's design. Everyone else uses a boundary wire to contain the mower and tell it where to mow, and it kind of mows like a Roomba in a random pattern. Sometimes they're GPS augmented, but that's not really how they, they navigate. Ego's design uses GPS for its primary navigation method. So you don't have to bury a boundary wire around the outside of your property, and you don't have to bury it around your flower beds and anywhere else you don't want it to mow. 
you just walk the path with the mower physically the first time, and then it stays within those boundaries. There's also an alternative version where you can pull up Google Maps on an app, outline where you want it to mow, outline exclusion areas, and then tell it to mow everything in between, and it does it automatically based on its GPS location. You might be wondering about accuracy they're going to be able to get out of a GPS signal, uh, and it seems like they've solved it. They've, they've got a GPS signal in the base station, which is stationary, and then two GPS antennas on the actual mower itself. So that gives you orientation as well as position of the mower, and they're using a reference point of the stationary GPS signal in the base station to help improve the accuracy of your mower down to the sub-centimeter level. In addition to that, it's also got a built-in gyro accelerometer magnetometer and can measure wheel rotation uh, from the brushless motors for dead reckoning, which may be necessary in portions of a yard, which is, you know, has heavy tree cover and you can't get a good GPS signal. As far as path planning capabilities in this, there's a straight line mode with various boundary shapes. You can do a spiral mode with circle, circles inward about a central point. You can also do manual path planning where you can mow the route once and it will do it again. Uh, in addition to that, there's a real-time map that you can look at in the app and it will show you where your mower is, what it has mowed already, and what it has to do still. Uh, in addition to this, this is really interesting, there's a meadow printing function where you can upload text or an image and the mower will cut it. So after it's done mowing, it will return to the charging station uh, and from what it looks like in the drawings, it's going to have room to hold two of their 56 volt batteries in this. So those are all the mower patents I found and all the details in them. I also found one other bonus patent, which is a backpack combination leaf blower and leaf vacuum. Uh, and it looks like Ego just based it off of their 600 CFM backpack blower. And I know that's a tool that a lot of people have been asking for on Ego's forums. And one last disclaimer, remember these are just patents. There's a possibility they will never come out with any of them. Although since they've already teased the zero turn mower coming out in 2021, I think we can bet on that one. So I'd love to hear in the comments section below uh, if y'all are excited about the robotic mower or if you're more excited about the zero turn mower or what you think about those.